Hey, it's been a while. A <laughs> full year, whoops. Anyways, Nitrotype has released its Year of the Xmas season, and I want to discuss what I think and whether I think it stacks up against the previous seasons, and or events. This will mainly be based on cars, not stickers or trails, due to the fact that stickers weren't introduced until Xmas of 2020, and trails not until Xmas of 2021. So let's go way back to the first Xmas event in 2012, where there honestly wasn't too much being offered with only four cars. Though this event did bring the Shadow Xmas tree, which would become one of the rarest cars until 2018. Next, there was the 2013 event, which had six cars, but two of which were returning cars. 2014, there were seven, but only four new cars. 2015, nine cars, five of them being new. 2016, there was 11 cars, but only five were new. 2017, there was 11 cars yet again, and like the last one, five were new. 2018 was a surprisingly stacked event, with 12 cars coming into the event, with 6 of them being new, and the Shadow X mystery last being seen in 2012. And at this time, only 13 people had the car that were not banned. This explains why I felt like I got a lot of cars during this period. It was also nice that during events you raced in any Xmas car and then you would get extra cash and experience for the next level. Unfortunately, we're now moving to seasons, which don't have any of the cash or experience rewards from racing in an Xmas car like the events did. The first one of these was 2019, which was actually not bad as far as seasons goes, with 8 cars coming and only one returning car. So 7 new ones. Next was 2020, which was really pathetic if you wanted cars, or really any rewards, as there was only one returning car and two new cars. Which actually makes this worse than the, even the first Xmas event in 2012. Moving to 2021, and this makes up for a lackluster season in 2020 by having 8 cars excluding the Xmas cave, which brings 6 more cars. So of these 14 cars, 7 were actually new. Overall, this was definitely the best season that we've seen, assuming you can afford the cars in the Xmas cave. Next, move to present in 2022, season 44. This brings 7 cars on default, with another 9 being added to the Xmas igloo. Though of these 16 cars, 10 of have been in the game before, so really only 6 are new. To add to that, most of these cars that were brought back have actually been seen in the game within the last 4 years. So while it's not necessarily the worst, I'd argue that 2021 was the best season, and 2018 was the best event. Overall, including both seasons and events, I would say that 2018 was the best, mainly due to the fact that it had more surprises later in the events, like having a car randomly show up at the end. They also had the advantage of giving them more cash and XP while racing in the Christmas car. Sure, they may not have had trails, but they were pretty great. Anyways, based purely on cars, here's the rankings. You can see that one is based on the pure amount of cars, and the other one is based on new cars brought into the game. Well, that does it for today. Thanks for watching. If you're curious about why I haven't been posting, it's mainly due to school, cross country, running an Etsy shop, making 3D videos, and all of that nitrotype isn't what I feel it used to be. And I'll discuss that in a future video, hopefully at least. On that note, I'll do a live stream hopefully this month, and otherwise, see ya!